hello friends today tutorial i'm going to show you how to convert a sketchup family to revit family and uh, this way you can perfectly uh, convert a sketchup family to a revit family you can download sketchup families from 3d warehouse uh, this is one of a, a family downloaded from that site and today I am going to show you how to convert this SketchUp family to a Revit family and you can use that Revit family uh, in your own Revit project. So let's start. First uh, I am going to open this sofa family and uh, this is how you can see this family okay first step you need to export this so select this family right click and click export again you need to export again and again you do this step and finally you can't export that means that's enough so this is the first step uh, and uh, now we need to create some layers uh, go to layers and uh, you can see only one layer layer zero so uh, we need to create some layers to this wood and uh, this uh, seat i i will create uh, cloth one and cloth two so we need to create three layers first one wood second one cloth one and next one cloth two so now you need to uh, categorize these things so select one wood and go to select all with same material then here we can change the layer to wood this way we can categorize these things to layers to select all the same material and change to go to so you now you can see how i create three layers and now we need to export this family to a cad file so go to file and export 3d model so i'm going to change uh, save as type to autocad dwg file and from option you just need to tick phases and export it okay now you need to export the materials so go to materials and he, uh, here select the materials in this model as you can see there are three materials so we need to get these uh, materials texture images to Revit so we need to export texture image this one as you can remember uh, see this is cloth one so this image we can export 
to with family as growth one and this is cloth two so export this text image cloth two and this is wood so export this and rename as wood export now uh, we need to open this CAD file so open this CAD file and you can see CAD files file as this way so we need to do one thing select this family and go to here object color and change it to by layer okay now you can save this and close that's the only step we need to do in AutoCAD so now you can open Revit in here you need to open new family the template should be metric furniture so open metric furniture right yeah now you need to insert that AutoCAD file to read like this okay this is the way you can see it now everything is fine so but we need to insert the uh, materials so go to manage object styles and click imported objects and you can see these uh, layers so first we can change these line colors to gray no need to change it and we need to insert materials so go to Growth one and so delete all the other materials and create new material and rename it to cloth one and now you can insert this. create uh, two materials for cloth 2 and wood same as I did for cloth 1 now you can see how it changes all the materials and now it seems as the SketchUp family so this is the way you need to uh, 
create a private family using a SketchUp family so this is the tutorial and uh, if you want I will show you how to import this uh, Revit family to a project so I am going to open a new Revit project and load into project so yes we need to save this first so go to desktop and I'm going to save this family as so far civil mix and save yeah now you can insert this family to Revit project need to change some settings and now you can see a beautiful sofa I hope you need to download this kind of uh, high quality Revit families by giving, giving uh, and expending money but in this tutorial I think you got knowledge about how to convert a high quality SketchUp family to a Revit family so hope you learned something from this tutorial if you learned something from this tutorial please uh, give a like and subscribe civil mix channel if you have any question uh, please comment and i will tell if i know thank you very much